Greetings. I wanted to buy a new SD card for my Samsung Galaxy 5. Yes, I'm still on the Galaxy 5. <laughs> hey, I don't buy a new phone every year if it's still working. But I wanted to upgrade my SD storage because I'd like to download a few more movies at one time. And I also wanted to add more music. And I could have gone from the 32 that was in my phone to a 64. But I decided, you know what, let's think 128. So I did what I do sometimes. I don't always do this, but this time I went to eBay first, figuring I would get the best deal possible on eBay. And I saw this Samsung Evo 128 gigabyte for $28. And I'll tell you the truth. I had not looked online anywhere else to find out how much these things should cost. We'll come back to that. So I hadn't looked, I didn't know, but this was $28. And I'm looking at some of the other prices, and some are $38, and some are around $45 or so. And I decided, well, you know, $28 sounds good. Now, I've generally had good luck buying stuff on eBay. I really have. I've only had one other issue, and that actually happened at the beginning of the month, where I ordered something that never showed up. And I contacted them after two weeks, along with... Um, E eBay and said I didn't get my thing they knew I didn't get it because eBay now has this thing where someone sends you something they get notified when it's delivered so they never got notified I obviously never got it so first they said they were gonna send me something back or send me another another of the item I had ordered and next thing you know I'm getting a refund that's okay though you know I don't know why but I got the refund in this case I order this 128 gigabyte, you know, SD card, and it comes with, you know, one of these. I ordered the Samsung, as I said, and I waited about a week before putting it in the phone, and I finally put it in my phone and decided, you know, I'm going to move files over. So I took my old card out, and I had it in my computer, and it turns out it wouldn't do anything. <laughs> it wanted to be formatted. And I said, well, I'm not about to format it and erase everything I have on there. That's not going to happen. So I had to put it back in the phone and move files over from the phone to the computer. Laborious. That took a long time, but I didn't want to lose anything. So then I put the new card in the phone and I switch it over and I move a few files. I didn't overload it at first, but I moved files back that I really wanted to have on the phone, at least initially. And I figured everything else, I could go search through my computer later on and decide what else I want to add. And immediately, I start listening to my recorded books because I listen to a lot of recorded books. And files were just quitting in the middle. I would be listening to a chapter and all of a sudden it would stop and jump to the next chapter. And I would go back and hit it and maybe I'd hear a little bit more and it would jump. And I'm thinking, oh, gee, something happened with the files that I tried to transfer. So what I did is I had some of those files already on my computer. I just reloaded some of those from the computer, put it back on there, and it still didn't work. I started seeing pictures. I was trying to take pictures of different things. You know, I like to take pictures on the sucker. And they were failing. Some were failing, some weren't, because I told the phone to have the storage, everything go to the new card. That didn't really work. So I went online, did some research, and one of the things said, you know, maybe you need to format the card. Fine. So I <laughs> wiped the card. I formatted the card in the phone, re-added the files, and then decided, you know what, I'm on one of these rolls. I'm going to add a whole bunch of other files. And they didn't show up on the card. As a matter of fact, it spent two and a half hours, quote unquote, adding files to the card only for no files to be there. I thought, well, geez, I had to have done something wrong. I just formatted the card. So I tried again, but just few fewer files. Didn't work. Went to the laptop, tried to load files. Didn't work. Said it was loading files. Didn't work. At that point, I'm thinking, okay, there's got to be something wrong with the card. So my wife says, well, maybe you should contact the people and find out what's wrong with the card. Well, I was going to do that, but I wanted to research first because I'm thinking, wait, what's going on with this card? What's the issue? So I go online and I start researching. And one of the things I found out is that you have some people who are looking to scam you by buying stuff online where they're actually giving you a 32 gigabyte card, but they're slapping on a sticker, which makes you think it's 128. 
Now, I will tell you the truth. The package looked brand new when I got it, but you know what? I'm not always paying full attention. So I went to see how much storage was on the card, and it was right at 31.9. <laughs> so that was it. It hit 31.9 and wouldn't accept anything else. That's why every other file I put on there was gone. But the files that were on there were corrupted. There were a lot of files that I had moved over that it just said, nah, I ain't playing it. Nah, don't even, why is that on here? We're not even going to play. So I go to eBay and I do the search through the listing of things that I bought and I find the people. And so I'm going to do this one star review telling them that this thing stinks. But I've got, you know, my belief that I got gypped out of the size of the disc that I got. So eBay asks you an initial question. It says, have you tried to contact the seller? I hadn't tried to contact the seller. I said, okay, fine. So I reach out to the seller and I write this kind of detailed thing about everything that I saw and research and stuff that I did. I got a refund within five minutes. And <laughs> just so you know, this was after midnight. So I get this refund really quickly. And then I get this you know, quick message back from the guy saying, I'm sorry I had trouble with the card. I'm giving you the refund. We're done. Thank you. Didn't think anything of it until later that night, just before I went to bed, I decided, well, let's go back to eBay and see, you know, what I can see. And it turns out, I don't know if this is for everybody, but it definitely worked in this case. If the seller gives you a quick refund, you cannot leave feedback. You just can't. There's no option for leaving feedback. And it's interesting because if you go on eBay and you're looking to search for things, you look up at the top right and you see a percentage, which is the average of how good these people are. And you try to find 99% most of the time. On this one here, it had been 96.9%. Now, I don't know if eBay has a certain amount or a certain score that someone has to have to stay a seller on there, but these guys did not want <laughs> me giving them a one star or a two star or whatever so it was gone so i didn't have an opportunity to warn anybody else that hey this guy might have sent me a fake 128 gigabyte sd just didn't have the time to do it so i did this video basically to give you a warning about some of the sales tactics that some of these people might do on ebay like i said I've only had two issues in all these years. Just so you know, I then decided today to go to Best Buy because right now it's really the only technology store that we have. I could have gone to Staples and I guess I could have gone to Walmart or Target, but I wanted to go to a technology store. So I go to uh, Best Buy and I bought this. Can you see it? The Extreme Plus. Now, Samsung, uh, SanDisk as opposed to Samsung, it retailed for $229, and I got it for $79 on sale. 128 gigs, are you kidding? I could have got a 64 gig on sale today for 30, but I had been jonesing for 128. And so far, it's working marvelously because I went to a quality dealer to get it. You know, you take your chances when you order tech on eBay. You just do. Uh, I've never really ordered any tech. I've ordered, you know... I've ordered movies, a lot of movies. I order, um, you know, cords, you know, if I need a replacement cord or something. I order a lot of stuff like that, but I don't usually order tech. Maybe that's something that you have to think about. However, I'm letting you know that if you ever have a gripe with something, you probably want to try to file your negative review before you follow through on everything else. You're probably still going to get your money. Or you're just going to make someone mad, but eBay then will fight for you to get your money. That's what I have to say today. My name is Mitch Mitchell. I hope y'all have a better experience than I started with, but I'm having a good experience now. You take care.